his rattlesnake bite blister is now leaking. That's not the bite leaking. That's just the little doodle the doctors did on you starting to cry. And you couldn't blame it for crying because I know that was a painful bite. So I hope you're doing better. And thank you for posting this because now it gives me an opportunity to talk about the bright side of rattlesnake bites. So what is the bright side of a rattlesnake bite? Well, it's, that it's not quite as bad as most movies and TV shows make them out to be. And the chances of dying from a bite are incredibly slim. Every year in the US, there's around seven to 8,000 venomous snake bites. And out of all seven to 8,000 of those bites, there's usually fewer than 10 to 15 deaths. And that's largely due to the fact that most North American venomous snakes have a predominantly hemotoxic venom that's designed to kill small prey animals, so it does cause a lot of tissue damage in a small local area wherever you got bitten on a human, but luckily we are far too big for a rattlesnake's venom to be effective at killing us. I hope you're doing better soon.